Welcome back. Today we're doing a rebuild of the Minnesota Vikings. Um, if you guys have any teams you want me to try rebuilding, throw them in the comments. Uh, you know, this one, Nathan, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, I hope we can get the uh, Vikings a Super Bowl today. But we're starting at the very start of free agency. So when you guys are seeing this, free agency is pretty much winding down. You know, all the big names are gone. We're doing this at the start of free agency. Unfortunately, Madden, you know, once the season is over, they don't really change the rosters. Understandably so, but so we're going to have to start as of next year. So I think right now, you know, I, I, the, the Vikings signed Aaron Jones. He's unfortunately probably not going to be released. Josh Jacobs will not be on the Packers, I can guarantee you that. Um, like, all of that stuff won't be in here. So a quick rundown here, looking at our roster. I don't want to look at depth chart. Um, but obviously our biggest problem is quarterback. We don't have a quarterback. Um, there we go. That's what I wanted. We don't have a quarterback. You know, we have a pretty pretty good offensive line. Obviously, you want your right guard to be a little better. And then our big standout issues... Uh, you know, we see Oliver here, uh, Josh Oliver here. Hawkinson is still here. He's just injured. Um, we need a running back. We really need a running back. Akers could be that guy, possibly. I just don't see it. So this offseason, um, you know, Cousins is, is going to be gone, unfortunately. His contract is up. Uh, I don't know if it'll say that on here or not. Okay, so now this is the right roster. Um Obviously, TJ Hawkinson is still here. Akers is gone. He's in free agency now. Um, and, uh, I mean, left guard, we need a replacement, obviously. QB, we need a replacement. And then defensively, we need better pass rushers. Uh, right now we have, who is this? Quincy Roche. Starting in both positions <laughs> on our left and right end side. Uh, we need better linebackers as well. Uh, it, it, this is a team that needs a lot of work. It really does. Uh, Harrison Smith is getting older. Josh Metellus could be a guy that we we think very highly of in this team. But in his fourth year, he's only a, a 76. So we've got, we got a lot to do. Unfortunately, I don't think this is a one-year rebuild either. Um, we got we got to make a quite a few moves here uh and I, it, it starts this off season but i don't think that we're gonna get any really big players i think we kind of have to rebuild from scratch for the most part unfortunately um so that probably means we're gonna be trading up in the draft to get a quarterback unless we can get one we have the 11th overall pick i believe and uh second to third round talent in the top five quarterbacks we've scouted fortunately um looks like mitch petty is gonna be really good holy smokes mitch mitch petty is probably gonna be pretty good mitch petty is probably the guy that we want to get um i don't see any yeah after mitch petty there's no real quarterbacks left on this list Petty, and then it goes to Brandon Hale, who is a projected second, third round pick, but he's should be undrafted. That's the talent he's got. So we have to get, we have to get Mitch Petty in the first round. Unfortunately, or we're we're just we're gonna have to go another year without a quarterback. So what I do want to do in free agency is get edge rushers. There's Daniel Hunter. He's asking for quite a bit. I'd make it two years. I'll up his money a little bit. But I don't want to give him too much money because he's he's getting old. And see, we're not even one of his top offers. Now, Justin Matabuike is one that I would heavily consider. And I would be willing to give him a little bit of money. We'll give him four years. I think that's a fair offer. Uh, he doesn't really like it. He doesn't. He's not interested in us. He's not interested in us, unfortunately. 
Um, and then Patrick Queen was another one that I wanted to offer, but he has no interest. He has no interest in us, and uh, nine teams have offered him already. So we'll probably look for a linebacker in the draft too. Kyle Duggar is one that we could look at. Van Ginkle signed in real life. He'd be a good one, but I, I don't know. You know. Duggar's getting a little old, actually, so we're going to pass on him. Van Ginkle, I don't know if he fits. I just, a lot of these guys, I, I'm not going to lie. We're looking young. We're trying to go young here. O-line is probably one that we don't really care too much. Dalton, we'll give you, we'll give you a little bit of money, buddy. We'll give you a little bit of money. We're one, the only team offering. We need a right guard as well. Um, Cesar Ruiz maybe he develops we'll offer him some money too and uh, we'll, we'll see if we get anybody so we have one signing so far and that is Cesar Ruiz oh I take that back we might have more I take it back we got Dalton Risner as well or Reisner one of the two so our O-line is, is fixed up there um, it doesn't look like anybody that we were going after. Daniel Hunter signed, unfortunately. We kind of knew he wasn't coming back. Um, who else did we offer? I feel like we offered somebody else, but we didn't. I don't see him. So, we definitely offered a couple other people. 100%. Who do we offer? We didn't. Patrick Queen wasn't one of them. How am I forgetting this already? All right. Well, we didn't get a couple that we offered. I'm good with the O-line additions and then focus the rest in the draft. Quarterback first round, and then after that is just, uh, you know, probably probably looking linebackers as well as uh, as well as D-line. I mean, everything on the D-line is is looking rough. Another addition that we want to look at is cornerback. We're really struggling at cornerback. Uh, I mean, only one of our guys are even a star, Dev. Nobody over 80. That was one thing that I did not pay attention to at all, and now I wish I had. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we did not sign all the guys that we wanted to there. Steven Nelson would not be a bad. He's a bridge player. I feel like, I don't know. Who's the fastest guy here? Tavellan? I don't think we can do it for you, bud. Um, we're going to offer Steven Nelson. A one-year contract is not going to be bad, especially since we don't have... We're going to be on a, a quarterback's rookie contract here. So, I mean, take that take that with a grain of salt. But for now, we can, can do that. Darnell Savage re-signed with the Packers. I wish that happened in real life. It didn't. Um, free safety and strong safety. Cam Curl. That is a really good contract, too. Give me Cam Curl. If I can get Cam Curl, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be very, very happy. Okay, so I did also end up offering Kenneth Murray. Um, I didn't give him a huge contract as well as Sion Takitaki. We are at the top of his list. Kenneth Murray doesn't have any good offers. I'm going to up it. I'm going to up his offer a little bit. I'm good with paying him two and a half mil a year if that'll get us to first, which it does. We're either first or second on all these guys' lists, so I'm hoping that we can do it through there. Honestly, the Vikings have quite a bit of money now. Without Kirk, they have quite a bit of money. I don't think if we can't get any of these guys, I think we're done. I think we're just going to go to the draft. Cam Curl signs with us. Kenneth Murray signs with us. And the other two didn't. The other two didn't. I was least confident in these two. But we were looking, looking at Steven Nelson who signed with the Lions. We do need a corner. We need a corner. Even if they're not the greatest out there, we need a corner. Nobody's offered Emmanuel Mosley. Mosley, excuse me. We can throw a little extra money his way too, because we we've got the cap room, so we'll do it. Uh, his contract expires at the end of the year too, so 
We'll offer him. And then if there's any right or outside linebacker, Taki Taki went to our division rivals, the Bears. Uh, Josh Uchi. Uh, I don't know. Not, not, not too high on him for this. I mean, he would be an upgrade. Not a big one, though. Levante David is still out there. One team is offered. Why not? I mean, he's a bridge player. If he signs, which I doubt he will, he's got a better contract. Um, and then, I mean, we might as well throw one at, at Blake Cashman. He's not terribly old. I, th I don't think that'd be a bad one. I think we just need to bolster up here. And from here, I think we're assuming to the draft. Okay, so we got to the draft. We're going to check out the mock drafts here. Who they are expecting... I guess there's only three mock drafts. Okay. They're expecting us to take Westerman. I don't understand why we would do that when Mitch Petty, Mitch Petty falls all the way to us. But nobody is taking a quarterback, it says. That scares me a little bit. We need Mitch Petty. We really do. That is our make or break. We relied on getting Mitch Petty. If we can't get him, that will be a heartbreaker. That will be an absolute heartbreaker. The Bears with the first pick. We're going to send to our pick, and hopefully Mitch Petty is still there. He didn't just get drafted, so that's a good sign. Although the Bears, uh, the Jets are not going to be drafting a quarterback here. Mitch Petty's still there. Mitch Petty's still there. And then DeAndre Fitzsimmons, bro, he's, got, he's, he's a dog. You can tell he's a dog, but we got to go with the quarterback here. Who's normal dev? He's normal dev? He's not even hidden dev. It said he's first round talent and he's not even hidden dev. Wow. We got. They tricked us. They tricked us there. That's fine. He's in an offense where he will develop very well. I'm not too worried about it. Um, and now what we need to look for is edge rushers big time. We need edge rushers. Um, it looks like JT Harden is the best edge rusher. I don't like his physicals that much. I don't. What we are going to do is we're going to draft Demarius Smart uh, cornerback here. He's normal dev too. Um, but we're off to a very rough start. We don't have a pick until the fourth round now. This is obviously going to be a multiple-year rebuild, unfortunately. Vikings fans... Close your eyes. I'm about to make your team a lot worse before it gets better, unfortunately. In the fourth, we're going to take Ralph Bryan, who's probably normal dev. It's to be expected, but he, he does look like he's decent. All of these guys have had decent stats so far. They're just, unfortunately, normal dev. Can't really do much about that, unfortunately. Next up, we're going to draft Sean Hartwell. Um... He's he's got to be our guy. He's got to be the guy we build from, because we don't really have anybody else, unfortunately. Uh, and now we got to go linebackers. Linebackers are our next choice here. Next up, we're taking B.J. Cooper. He has terrible block shedding, but I don't. I don't know, man. Our our pass rush is just not going to be good next year, I guess. So we'll see what happens. Next up, we're taking Grant Snyder. This guy looks like he'll be decent once again. I mean, we're not going to get hidden devs this late in the draft. You usually get them at the start, but we didn't. We, we're not good. We're not great. I guess I'm, I, let my, uh, I let my assistant GM sim the rest of the draft, I guess. So we'll, we'll check out the overalls, and um, we'll get them subbed in here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they, uh, they got some good, good overalls. All right, so here's our rookie class. I'm excited about this, all right? A 75 overall quarterback, that's pretty good, all right? If right? I'm sure if we check, which we will, he's the best quarterback there was. A 78 overall cornerback in the second round. I don't care if he's normal dev. He will probably hit a better dev trait, okay? We're good with that. Ralph Ryan, not great, obviously. Sean Hartwell, not great. B.J. Cooper, what the heck? <laughs> 61? 
and a 64, and then a 66. So, obviously, we didn't do the greatest in the later rounds. The first two rounds, we did amazing, all right? Now, quarterback-wise, let's see here. Yeah, we, we have the best quarterback, best cornerback in the draft and quarterback in the draft. Um, yeah, the other quarterbacks, let's see if we can even find them. 73, a 75 for us. And then Pruitt is a 73 too. So we made the right choice at quarterback. Unfortunately, he's just not hitting dev. So I'll explain really quickly why I'm not worried about our quarterback having normal dev. Uh, he is in a offense where he will thrive. You know, he, he he's with Justin Jefferson, uh, Jordan Jordan Addison, Hawkinson will be back soon, hopefully. I thought he might come back now. He might be back soon. Ruiz, we want you starting, buddy. Um, I actually want to check that right now. He will be back in six weeks. So, like, Hawkinson will be back, I think, week two of the season. Um, I mean, Madison can run all right. He's fine for now. And, I mean, defensively, we're okay. We're, we're nothing too special out here. But we... Uh, we're doing all right. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to trade Harrison Smith. I know Vikings fans are not going to be a fan of that, but it just, he's getting old. He's getting old. We'll check free agents too and make sure there's nobody hanging around out there that we want. And there is Zach Moss. He's normal dev though. He's normal dev. I don't know. Edwards is probably normal dev too. He's star dev, but he's 29. Zach Moss is 26. I'm getting Zach Moss. Zach Moss is going to be our, our running back. I know he's not star dev. I know a lot of our players aren't, but this is an offense that will thrive, and I'm hoping that they can get upgrades throughout the season. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to throw Harrison Smith on the trade block. Um, I mean, he's 35. Nobody has any interest in him. I think not normally is this how it works, but I believe that uh, our best chance of getting him off this team for the best price is using um, the trade block. He's he's just, I love Harrison Smith. I'm a Packers fan and I love the dude. He's just too old. He's too old and uh, we can't do anything with that. So Harrison Smith is going to have to go. I'm going to let, I'm gonna let this season ride out and see see where we're at at the end of the season. I'll let my uh, assistant GM take over and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, as we sim the midseason here, the Packers just re-signed Keyshawn Nixon. I'm happy. Uh, we're three and three actually at the uh, at the at the break, the midseason break here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's all right. Um, we have a breakout linebacker, so hopefully they can get that done. We'll see if we have any upgrades. We don't, unfortunately. Um, Ruiz, I want you in, buddy. Uh, we don't have any. We don't have any. I don't know what our issue is. If we could possibly fix it, which I'm sure it's the defense, if we're being honest here. Uh, quarterback, he could be better. He could be a lot better. He's having a rough year. It's actually the offense is the issue. The offense is the issue. All right. Well, how can we help this out? All right. So looking at this, Mitch Petty is the uh, second coming of Kenny Pickett. Um, nine touchdowns and six interceptions with his longest pass being 35 yards this year. We might just have to ride it out this season because we don't have a running back either, so I'm sure that kind of affects things. We're just going to send him to the playoffs, give him a year to develop. We didn't expect him to come in here as Patrick Mahomes immediately, so we are still on schedule. And would you look at that? We made the playoffs. 
We made the playoffs as the uh, holy smokes, the Packers fell off a cliff. They were five and two, and they ended seven and ten. We made it as as a conference champion, not a conference champion, division champion. Um, so Mitch did a little better in the second half, passing yards wise at least. He still had twenty four and fifteen uh, rushing. That's obviously not the greatest season from a running back. Jay Jettas has had much better seasons. Hawkinson had a heck of a season, though, with eight touchdowns. Jordan Addison did great, too. Can't be too upset with this. Uh, and then I'm cool with it. Now what we need is for him to win Rookie of the Year. If he can win Rookie of the Year, which he does, I think that gets him – a, a dev trait upgrade. Ralph Bryan got up there too. Good for him. Uh, and nobody else from our team. I don't think we drafted any other offense. Um, but yeah, that's great. He was the seventh best quarterback in the in the division. Or the conference. Now I'm saying conference. Now I'm saying division. I can't get it right. We're good. We're going to get through the first round here. If we win this year, we are still doing another another season which we don't we lose 35 to 9 um they extend my contract so we'll sim to the super bowl and uh and kind of reevaluate then all right so we are in a second officially going to be in the 2024 off season um it's our re-signing period we'll see who we've got here cam bynum it's 27 and lewis we got to keep one of them. Oh, we'd have to franchise tag. Yikes. Okay. They did not re-sign anybody, it looks like. All right, so we... We're going to franchise tag Cameron Bynum. We have the money. Can't bind him. I hate to break it to you, but you're staying with the team. Everybody else is gone. Uh, we we need to be better than before. Um, so now here's what I wanted to check. Mitch Petty had two upgrades there, which I'm happy, very happy with. I hope that means that he is now up to a star development. Maybe. Bingo. What do we say? He's up. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. Where did I miss something? Where did Jordan Addison go? We got to figure this out. Okay, I'm looking. I think it's just a glitch. Jordan Addison is on the team. I think it's just a glitch. It's not a funny glitch. I'm definitely not enjoying it. But yeah, he's on the team. Interesting. Um, then how did the rest of our rookies do? Smart is up to an 80. He, he doesn't change his development. Kenneth Murray went down. So we really need to focus on linebackers and defensive line this year is what I am. I'm coming to the realization that we tried last year. We just we didn't get them, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to go into free agency and get some of that done and then also draft too. Okay, so our first signing is Matthew Judon. I didn't think we'd get him. I tried going after Wusu Koromoa. He didn't sign with us. Greg Newsom also didn't sign with us. Josh Sweat also did not sign with us. It's not not as great as he'd like it to be, unfortunately. But we uh, we're trying to make moves, and we just can't make them. We can't make them, but we're gonna continue to try. Continue to try. Um, we're really gonna have to dominate in the draft. I don't understand why nobody wants to come to. Minnesota, except for people who are about to retire. Either way, we're going to give Khalil Mack some money and uh, hopefully welcome him to the team. See signs. So we have our outside linebacker issue solved. I think I think we're good from here on out. I think uh, we save some money because we're going to have to do some extensions next season. 
Um, I'm not sure who all is coming up, but it's not going to be fun. I can, can tell you that much. So we're just going to sim to the draft and, and get to there. All right, we're entering the draft, and I didn't even know until a second ago what pick I had. We're just going for it. We're going for it. Whoever we can get, we will take. Um, I'm hoping there's a middle linebacker. Best player middle linebacker. Of course, a right outside linebacker, which we already have. Um, that's cool. We're fine with this. Probably looking at edge rusher. If we're being completely honest here, we need a edge rusher. We're not going to get a left end. That's that's for sure. Uh, James Morant. Jalen Hendricks. Jermaine White. And Torrey Pearson are the ones we're going to be looking at here. Um... His physicals just aren't standing out. Now, Hendricks is. Hendricks' physicals look pretty good. I think Hendricks is probably going to be our guy. I think Hendricks is our guy. His block shedding is pretty good. And he's hidden dev. We hit one. Finally, we hit one. Now for a second round pick, I won't walk through every round here, um, just the first two. We're going to look for a, a a pass coverage linebacker, would be amazing. He's got great zone coverage. What are his physicals? He's fast. Dude, give him to me. Hidden Dev, we're hitting this one. We're hitting this one. We're doing good. Now we have a left end who has a pass block, or left guard, a pass block, B run block. I don't care if he is he's a normal dev. That those are great stats. Those that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. And I'm gonna let the uh, assistant GM draft the rest of this. I think we got some good ones. I'm less confident in my ability to draft later in the draft. So hopefully the assistant GM does better than me. But we'll see. So here is our draft recap: a 75 overall right end Hendricks. Beautiful. 72, Bush. That's fine. We'll put him in the starting lineup. Uh, Boston, he's a 72. His pass block was... His blocking was good. They were both A. So pass block is an 80. 2. Run block is a 73. How's that an A? Not bad. We'll take it. Um, and then the rest of the team drafted was a wide receiver. 72. I'm good with that. Defensive tackle, 69, nice. Uh, a left end and a tight end. I'm good with that. The tight end, I'm really kind of questioning why we chose a tight end, but I'm good. I'm good. Now, one thing that I did not realize is we need a running back. Currently, uh, I'll just go here, 71 Sam Hartwell is our running back. Um, it's just not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. I don't know why I'm going up when I could have went down one. Um but we need a running back. And honestly, let's get a good one. Let's get a good one. I'm not worried. You know, I just want to get them on the team. I'm not worried how much they're making. Uh, Brees Hall is one that I would love to get. So we're going we're gonna to talk to the Jets here and see what we can do. All right, so we traded a first and a fourth for Brees Hall. I'm taking that as a win. We don't have it for next year. But I'm hoping that this makes us a, content, a contender and it'll be a pick that won't even really matter that much. No, Brees Hall is, is a guy that he's pretty good. He's a pretty good player. Now our offense is disgusting. 87. Our defense, on the other hand, isn't. Our defense needs to be better. We're just we're having a rough time getting them better. We really are. Um I'm hoping this year, overall wise, they're not great, but playing, they're pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna sim and uh, see how we're doing midway through the season again. Season, uh, <laughs> something's going wrong. Evidently, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but something's going wrong. Offensively, we're the number one offense in the league. We're the twenty third defense. It's got to be turnovers. Six interceptions, I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. What are we doing wrong here? 
I mean, we're not getting the quarterback that well, especially Khalil Mack, a guy that we got solely so that he could go to, get to the quarterback. He's not. He's not getting to the quarterback. Um. Yikes. Okay. All right. Well, honestly, I feel like there's nothing that we really can do. I think we got to sim it out. And we unfortunately traded our first round pick to the Jets. So we don't have that. Wow. How are we one in six? There's... N I, don't, I don't know. I feel like we end the season with over five wins. Um, we do. We get five wins. See, I don't get it. I don't get what happened. Um, you know, We'll check the stats here. Petty had a great year. The turnovers are killing him, though. It's got to be better decision-making. Defense stayed pitiful. Um, yearly awards, I doubt we got any. Um, hopefully we got. We didn't. Jalen Hendricks didn't have that great of a season, it appears, which is fine. We understand it's going to be a little bit for him. Uh, hopefully we've revealed both of our defenders, uh, which is not what I wanted. But hopefully we revealed both of their dev traits. And let's see here. Both are star. Nobody's getting better, unfortunately, either. This is uh this has been rough. Rough start. So now we gotta resign. Um, I've, we really have to get his fifth year. Uh, Ivan Pace. We we can't franchise tag him. We can't franchise tag any of these guys. It's just gonna be too much. So hopefully we can uh, we can talk to some of them in free agency, but. I, I, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. Some of them we don't want back, I guess. But we uh, we need to do a little more uh, during the season offering extensions and, and stuff of that sort. All right, so we have Chidobia Woozy. We are also offering uh, Ryan Stonehouse, Elijah Vera Tucker, and Grover Stewart. I'm going to offer him a little more than we did before. We really, really need him on the team. We're still not going to get up to the Raiders, unfortunately. He just doesn't have that much interest. And we're probably not going to sign him. We've got everybody but him, which is okay. I was just hoping to bolster up our corners a little bit, which we didn't do there. Um, but I like I like what we got going here. I'm a fan of it. Just wish... Uh, Wish it was a little easier. Wish it was a little easier. Okay, so we just simmed to the draft. Uh, we don't really have any giant holes on this team. Petty is up to a superstar. Petty is up to a superstar all of a sudden. I'm getting excited about that. Uh, left end is an issue, and middle linebacker continues to be an issue. We also signed Judon back. We got him for a really low contract. Um, you know, that's what we're going to aim for is middle linebacker. Any linebacker, as a matter of fact, uh, and uh, in a left end, and I think I think we're pretty much pretty much good. Now the issue is, we did trade our first round pick, and we would have had the second pick in the draft. You've got to be kidding me! We would have had the second pick in the draft, and we traded it away. Yikes! We got Brees Hall. But, uh, you know, that is a little unfortunate now looking back on it. A little unfortunate is definitely a uh, understatement. All right, we're going to choose Charles Beckham. He's a hidden dev. I'm kind of shocked by, but, uh, you know, I thought with our luck he would be a, a normal dev. But we got a hidden dev, and, um, yeah, I'm good with that pick. I'm really happy with that pick, actually. Now, this one is kind of a no-brainer. White Weiss, uh, is, we're drafting him. He's hidden dev as well. He has 90 speed. Is it okay? 
Okay, we're making some moves. Now we need a left outside linebacker, and I'm going to be happy with this draft. Okay, so we have a speed rushing left outside linebacker who's going to be normal dev, but that should be an upgrade. And we're going to let the uh, assistant GM take over for the rest of the draft. I, I'm going to do one more pick, actually. I'm doing one more pick. We're going to get a uh, cornerback just to... We need defense. We need defense pretty bad. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll pick up a corner here. Uh, DeAndre Hennings. This guy actually doesn't look that bad. 91 speed. I'll take it. That's going to be our last pick. We'll sim to the end of the draft and look what we uh, ended up with. All right, so our draft recap. Our second round pick was a 73 overall. He is hidden dev. Same thing with Weiss, who is a 74. And then the rest are just kind of, yeah, what you expect. Uh, 73 and a 74, both hidden dev. I'm not too upset with, though. Uh, we're very happy with that. And uh, we're going to sim the middle of the season. I don't really think... Looking at this team, I don't really, uh, I don't really see any changes I'd make right now. I'm gonna sim to the middle of the season and see how we're doing. So halfway through the season, this is what we've been looking for. Uh, I would have to assume that we're having a good season offensively. We're fourth. His stats are better, but he's still throwing interceptions, it looks like. And defensively, we're much better than last year. That's what we really needed to make an improvement with. The interceptions have to stop. Petty, you got to knock him off. That's what's killing us. Um, but, yeah, I'm I'm happy with how we're doing right now. Hopefully, uh, the, the hidden devs are showing now, and we can see what they are. They're not yet. So we'll see at the end of the season, but we'll sim to then and see uh, see how we're doing. We made it to the playoffs, eleven and six. Uh, we made it as a wild card team. The Bears ended up taking it. Did he slow down on his interceptions? The answer to that is no. He didn't. Seventeen total on the season. Good grief, man! You could be so good, but you throw an interception every every possession. It looks like. Uh, the hidden devs have got to be out now. You should be able to see uh, see what they are. Uh, I mean, this is a good team. This is a good team. I will say I did forget to do re-signings, so hopefully the CPU handled it. They are both silver or star development. That's fine. That's fine. I'm I'm good with this. We uh, we made the playoffs. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about this. So we sim through the game and we make it out of the first round. Couldn't be happier. We finally make it out of the wild card round. Um, I assume that we're going to play the Bears now in the second round. If I, I thought I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I believe that we are playing the Bears. We're playing the Falcons in the divisional round. Um, we're going to go in and watch the sim here. Uh, hopefully we win. I have fingers crossed. Hopefully we win. We get a 7-7 ball game here. Uh, and Falcons take a lead. There we go. I fixed the sim so it doesn't keep asking me to play. 14-10. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We score to make it 17-14 going into the final quarter. But they end up scoring. And uh, we we come back. And they come back. And in just a couple plays, they got down inside the 10-yard line. Um, I think I messed up the recording trying to get this. But he's going to make a throw. That almost was picked. That was almost picked. Petty, come on, bud. Come on, bud. It's second and goal from the seven. We need something. Petty, please make a good throw. Oh, I can sit for the touchdown. <laughs> We got we got a minute left, and we could be going to the NFC Championship. Unfortunately, we lost the footage uh, of the game, but as you can see, the Bears ended up winning the Super Bowl, and um, yeah, we didn't win. We didn't win. Disappointing way to go out in the NFC Championship. Uh, this might be the last year for the uh, rebuild. I mean, we have rebuilt the franchise. 
made it to an NFC championship. I just, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it all the way. So we're going to sim to free agency. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what we need this season. Um, check our roster here. But this will be the last season of Vikings franchise. Offense, I don't think I need to touch it. I think offense is completely fine. Defense, holy smokes. We need to touch it. Uh, pause. Okay. Weiss is injured, so we're fine at middle linebacker. We need linebackers. If we could, we, we need we need corners and um, lineback outside linebackers and corners are our big project. We will spend whatever we need to. Uh, we'll sell out this season to win this. We got to win it all. So we got 38 mil. Uh, I gave some to Marlon Humphrey. He wants to come here, so hopefully that'll work out. D tackle. The Forrest Buckner just wants way too much. I would love to give it to him. He just wants way too much. We're also going to need a kicker, so we'll, we'll take we'll take Brandon Aubrey. Uh, so we got some money out there. Outside linebackers. Um, um, there's nobody really here that could be could be great. Van Ness, we'll give him some money. Obviously, you know, It'd be tough to believe a Packer would become a Viking, but it's happened plenty of times now, unfortunately. Uh, Van Ginkle, we'll give you some money. Come on over, buddy. Make it like real life. Um, hopefully, hopefully Marlon comes. Hopefully he does. Uh, Marlon Humphrey did not sign with us. Did he sign somewhere else? He did. Of course he did. So we lose our cornerback. We lose our cornerback. Wow. That's unfortunate. I thought we had him locked up. I thought we did. Uh, Razul's too old. I think we need to trade for one. We got a lot of first-round picks. We're, we're going to sell out like the Rams. We're going to do it. This year, we will win a championship. We have to. So, I see us as a Super Bowl contending team. So, what I did was I made a couple trades here. All right, we have, I went to the wrong screen again. We traded our next three first-round picks. Um, one for a upgrade at D-Tackle, which we uh, very, very, very strongly needed. Um, and the other was for corner. So, that boosted our defense to an 83. That's still not good. Jonathan Allen, welcome to the team, as well as JC Horn will be taking over. Uh, we have Byron Murphy as well. I mean, we're going to be pretty good. Weiss is going to be back. We still have pieces that we can trade. That's what I'm going to do midway through the season. We're just going to sim there now. All right, so we're halfway through the season. We're 6-1. and one. I don't really see any changes that need to take place. Um... I mean, Brees Hall is leading the league in rushing yards. I, I noticed that. Uh, that's awesome. Defensively, we could still be better. I think we're giving up a lot of yards in the pass game. I'm going to see if we can bring in another cornerback. I'm going to try it. Okay, so we sent a haul here over of picks, but we got A.J. Terrell now. Uh, I'm actually going to put this down. It's, uh, I think we're looking pretty good. I think this will push us over the edge. So here's going to be our final look at the team. Uh, I mean, linebackers are the only thing that you could really say that needs fixed. And honestly, I I couldn't agree more, but I think this is it. I think this is the team. So not only did we make the playoffs, we got a first-round bye. Uh, I'm going to see if we had any season awards. Okay, I'm looking at this now. Those stats are not correct. Um this can't be correct. There's a chance that we won MVP with Mitch Petty. That's all I'll say. And the defense did definitely get better. Yearly awards, we didn't win. He got third. Unfortunate, man. Um, defensive player of the year, I doubt we had. We had coach of the year. That was me. Defensive player of the year, uh, no, we didn't.
We did have Charles Beckham in the running, though. That means he did pretty good. And was that Van Ginkle, too? Van Ginkle got in there. Okay. We got people doing some stuff. Um, nobody up here for the other awards. Uh, we have a first round bye. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to go into the game to sim because we have seen what happens when I do that. So we're going to sim to uh, next round Next round, so we have our game. And it's the 8 and 9 Giants. If the 8 and 9 Giants take us out, I will genuinely... I'm done. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. I'm done. I'm done. Nope. I've done my job. I've done my job. Nope. Nope. Wow, man. Wow. That is tragic. That's tragic. For a, uh, a Super Bowl. And they just didn't take it. And honestly, I'm going to see what the, uh, the state of the team is. But I might want to continue. We are losing a lot of guys. We are losing a lot of guys. And we don't have much cap room. No, that was our Super Bowl year. That was it. That was it. I think uh, I think we're gonna call it a video. I think we're gonna call it a video. Unfortunately, um, I mean this is the roster. No, it isn't. I went to the wrong thing again. This is the roster that would be left over with. How did we lose to the Giants? The eight and nine Giants beat the thirteen and four. I mean, there's, you know what? We're running it back. We're running it back one more year. One more year, we are running it back. Uh, I do need to take over as a, as a GM. We're, we're doing it. One last year. If we don't win this year, I'm going to, we're done. That's it. We should have won this year. I don't understand why we didn't. We don't really have much money to spend. So I guess we're just going to skip, for the most part, out of free agency. Now, we do need a center and a free safety. And those are two positions that you evidently need to play football. We don't have either of those. So we're going to need to go kind of cheap. Uh, Simmons at 4.27. Darnell Savage... Welcome to the squad, hopefully. Uh, and then we need a... Uh, I think we need a kicker, too, but we need a center first. Bradbury wants... He's going to take up all the rest of our cap, but we, we have no choice. We have no choice. Bradbury does sign with us. And then hopefully Darnell did as well. He didn't. Darnell did not sign. Uh... Interesting. Bynum went to the Saints. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip all of free agency um, and just kind of recap. So I'll let you guys know what happens, but we're not going to go through because this video is already very long. All right, so here's the free agency recap. We traded away Darisaw. Darisaw was making way too much money. We couldn't keep him on the team, unfortunately. So he's gone. Uh, we are going to need to pick up a wide receiver three. Uh, but our defense now, we got C.J. Gardner-Johnson. We also signed Arno Savage later, so worked out. We got Drayton as well from that trade, so our defense is looking pretty good. Uh, special teams, we need a kicker and a punter as well, so we're going to work on that. Okay, so we just had to restructure a lot of contracts uh, to be able to pick up a kicker or a punter. This is truly the last season. If we don't win this year, there is no hope. So from here, uh, we're just going to sim to the middle of the season. Even then, there's not much that we can really do. So we're just going to ride it out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the middle of the season. Way through the season, and we are 3-4. and four. I don't have money to make any trades. we got to ride it out. we got to ride it out. I did forget something. I forgot to give my permissions over to the assistant GM. That might have hurt things a little bit. Uh... Hopefully we won the game that we simmed after the three and four start. 
We did. We won two. Oh, boy. Okay. There's still a chance to make it to the playoffs. We got a great team. Hopefully, the assistant GM takes over and he levels things out. So we get to the end of the season, and we didn't even make the playoffs. We went two and three after the midseason, and it was our defense. Our defense was terrible. I don't know how. Rush and pass defense were both in the bottom half of the league. Um, I mean, what happened? What happened? I mean, look at this defense. This is good. How How is it so bad? All right. Well, I guess that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, sorry we couldn't get the Vikings a Super Bowl. I promise in one of these videos we're going to get somebody to win. Um, just not unfortunately today. Vikings fans, if you're watching, this doesn't mean your future's doomed. It means I'm terrible at rebuilding. Um, they do. You guys do have quite a bit of money for this uh, this off season, so we'll see what you guys do with it. But there's a lot of ways they could go. Not many wrong ones. As a Packers fan, I'm a little afraid. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys probably tomorrow. Peace.